Did you have any sense of how successful this show could be? Certainly when it's on a streamer that really wasn't doing very much at the time. What was that like for you to start this show, Titus Welliver? Well, you know, well, it was, I mean, it was a, it was a whole brave new world in that regard. I had no idea what to, you know, to anticipate. Uh, you know, my hope was that it, it would succeed um, and that it would, you know, find its audience. I mean, that being said, I think, you know, truth be known, our, our show is based on a series of, you know, hugely successful um, novels written by Michael Connolly, um, you know, global um, um, audience. And, uh, you know, it was my hope. But, you know, you never know, particularly when you have a, a, a you know, it's a literary source. You know, people are you know, they have their own kind of prejudice. And it was, you know, very, very possible that people were going to say, I'm not going to watch that. It's, you know, the, I, I do the same thing. I read a book and then somebody says, oh, they're making a film out of that. And then, you know, they, you see who's cast and you go, oh, I don't want to watch that. It's <laughs> going to be, it's going to be a train wreck. So fortunately, um, and I ran the risk of that. People were saying, oh, it must be intimidating. And I thought, you know, there's nothing I can do but do my job, which is to try to play Harry Bosch, the, the Bosch of the books. And either people will accept it or they won't. So fortunately they did, but yeah, it was a whole new idea. And, and I was, uh, I was not familiar with it. I mean, I really didn't even, I didn't even have Netflix or any streaming service at right. that point. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I got a smart TV and I told them not to hook up anything because it scared me. So. <laughs> Cause you didn't want to have somebody walking around and somebody walking around knowing what your, your purchasing power is just through your television shows. But I mean, look, we're, we're, we're sitting here on Peacock right now on a streamer and, um, and uh, 10 years ago, uh, or I guess eight years ago, 2013. uh, I mean, when you're saying, Hey, I'm doing a TV show for Amazon where people are saying like, well, that's where I get my stuff. I mean, you had to probably explain to your friends or maybe have it explained to you what the heck that was all about when you were starting this program off. I did a hundred percent and they were, you know, now, what Amazon did was they didn't just come out of the box with one thing. I mean, we were their their drama, but they came out with, um, you know, options uh, uh, of programming and kind of, you know, it was a springboard from there. Um, so they they were prepared. But, yeah, uh, yeah there, were, there were a lot of people who were kind of – but, you know, everything was kind of happening all at once. You had – you know, it was Amazon was there, it was the time, but they were really at the ground floor. And then you had Apple TV and, um, you know, and, and Netflix and Hulu and Roku and, um, and you know, now you have Peacock and HBO Max and, um, you know, Disney Plus, and, which for a guy like me is fantastic um, because I, I will, uh, I will literally... Um, stay in my pajamas the entire day and just <laughs> well, bin- binge watch episodes of the Six Million Dollar Man. Uh, <laughs> I and I I I cheers you for that. I tip my figurative cap for you on that, Titus Welliver. I thought you were going to say that because you're you're invariably on something somewhere uh, on some streamer somewhere, whether it's Deadwood or. Um, you know, Gone Baby Gone or Brooklyn South or, you know, a repeat of NYPD Blue, Sons of Anarchy. I mean, that's what I thought you meant, that it's good for you because invariably somewhere somebody's streaming something you're doing, you know? And I'm not getting paid a cent for it. But, um... <laughs> wow, I have really stepped on something right there. I stepped in it. Well, at least, hold no, on no. a second. Hold on a second. Do you do you at least get a free Amazon Prime card? Do you at least get no, that? No, I don't. I what don't. the hell? Every... My friends all said that in the beginning. They went, oh, so now you have free Prime. And I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I but guess... anything I learned, look, you know what? I mean, uh, the uh, um, <laughs> I did learn that... And, I, I you know, I, I, I'm not dissimilar to my father. I mean, with my kids, I've always been open the door in the morning and I'm like, go outside and play and do things and don't come back unless you have to go to the bathroom or you need a drink of water or right. you're hungry. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> then there's me now, you know, and I've always been that guy. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm saying to my kids, where are you going? Oh, you know, you know dad, the world's open up and I'm going to go and have lunch with my friends. Oh, but you know, there's a bionic woman marathon. Happening. <laughs> <laughs> the and, old Lindsay you know, Wagner yeah. defense. I like it. Um, I, I, I like that. 
<laughs> I like that. You know, Titus, it's funny. I've got a 12, a 10, and a 7-year-old, and we're the same way trying to my wife and I trying to get him off a screen. And my 12-year-old right now, sometimes we catch him watching the worst crap on YouTube where it's just somebody who invariably does admittedly have like 30 million followers. And all they do is just sit there and they get all these videos from somebody else's phones and just say the snarkiest stuff. And they're watching this garbage. And I'm like, get the hell off of YouTube. And my 12-year-old son says, Dad, the Rich Eisen show's all over YouTube. What's your problem? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I don't uh, yeah, have, have quite an answer for that sort of thing. I said, but at least my show's not crap. That's, what's, that's my response. <laughs> that's what I say. I know, but that's the, I know. It, 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 you know what? My, my kids are, are, are 15, 19, and 22. And I, you know, my 15-year-old, uh, I don't want to say that she goes down that rabbit hole, but every now and then, you know, this TikTok thing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I go, what a, but then I, you know, then I find myself, you know, sounding like, you know, when I was your age, you know, uh, you know but, but I raised my kids because I didn't like SpongeBob SquarePants and the offerings that were out there when my kids were little. So I, I went out and if I couldn't find it in the store, I would go on eBay. And so my kids were raised on Johnny Quest nice. and the Six Million Dollar Man. I know I'm going to keep the, it's, I don't, I'm not friends with Lee Majors, I just want you to know. <laughs> um, but all this, like, Rat Patrol, Time Tunnel, Lost in Space. Attaboy. You know, I, 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 with my kids, I would just say, look, F Troop, you know. Nice. <laughs> anything that I could get my hands on, because I, I would look at the stuff that they were watching on some of these kids' channels, and I would go, it's crap. Crap. It's, la it's not even good. I know. Even, it's not even good. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.